so uh, I was saying yesterday that this this part here what it does I mean it, it just it adds again to the variation but also it creates uh, like this peaceful and more quiet uh, moment and that was the purpose of, of this particular uh, well melody enforcement of the melody here and uh, actually I was uh, looking uh, through um, some instruments and then I went uh, yeah I was playing on the keyboard and I was like oh yeah this is nice it could work here so oh I'm just Push the wrong keys. So, um, actually, these uh, notes are part of the chord from the main melody. And I'm going to go all the way up. I can select this. And you can see it in here. And in this particular part basically what I did I doubled the notes uh, it's not like a coherent way of doubling the notes in series, so I just did what it sounded nice to me um, and indeed these are the chords uh, the ones below yeah this uh Well, actually, this is uh, yeah. These are the chords, but they are coming from the um, the other synth that I had at the break. Um, let me check with the pads. You can see it better. To do, I'll just copy this temporarily. Let me duplicate the strings because I want to put it on top of each other so I can show you. Well, essentially, they are the same notes there, yeah. Okay, so here you can see uh, a bit more clear how... Oh, let me put also the different colors so it's not confusing. Make this one pink. Oh, only one. Not both of them. Yeah. So you see how um, the notes of the melody at the break are going. It's not necessarily following the the um, main chords, but but it adds this extra color here. copy of the strings that I made there. Now let me go into the Omnisphere uh, preset so you can see the preset. That's... Okay, so number seven. So this is the preset. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's uh, you can see it has a sine wave in it, um, and the other one is a recording from a kalimba um, sound. What the 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 source of the sounds most of the times it comes from recordings and from really uh, unique way of recording uh, the sounds. Um, and okay, this is a kalimba bad drum. Wild. I mean, uh, let's see if uh, you can see more of the. Okay, so this is the picture, actual.
Yeah, so that's a picture of the actual instrument. Um, and then, of course, it's uh, processed. But that's what the guys from uh, Spectrasonics uh, are doing. They're recording instruments in a very peculiar way. Uh, of course, the natural sound from the instrument itself, but then, you know, they... Um, for instance, I don't know, uh, they try to play a guitar with a uh, guitar string with um, um, like a sugar, uh, with a bag full of sugar. And then you get this, uh, of course, you get the sound from the sugar bag um, and, and then also the sound from the uh, string itself, which is brilliant. And that's what I also love about Omnisphere. So all those uh, recordings which can be used, uh, I mean, yeah, ultimately you can use it in some interesting sound design or just use it as uh, it is recorded. Um, of course, and on this part, uh, on the part B, the oscillator, you can see it's a, a si well, sine, saw kind of form, but then the, s the sound is pretty signy, but then when you open up the filter it just goes a little bit uh, more airy wish anyway it's nice to add some color to uh, to the melodies all right um next part let's see yeah so the next part is actually the um, arpeggiator well it's not really a arpeggiator but it's uh i think uh, i left the uh, old name in there this sound is so nice it's really really cool love it um, and that one is coming from the Mini V, uh, Arturia. Takes a bit of time to open because it's um, pretty heavy. I don't know, some plugins from uh, the Arturia suit, they are really um, easy, they load immediately. But some of them are super heavy on the CPU, like this one. Um, Actually, it's an ar ar arpeggiator, but I haven't been playing it as an arpeggiator, like keeping just one note pressed. Uh, what I have done, I only played uh, notes like this, which are basically from the melody itself. Of course, there are some automations in the filter. Ah, but that's later. Just want to look on the modulation side. So there are some uh, LFOs going on in there. And on the modulation, as you can see, there is quite some um, um, action going on here. And um, actually what I like about this particular patch is the movement, left, right, um, of the, yeah, the, the movement of the sound. And then you have this uh, crispiness on the top end. But uh, at the same time, I don't know, it has this um, vintage kind of synth characteristic. And for this particular uh, plugin, for the Mini V, it's 
well this is this is the the thing of this plugin you know it it, it can bring some of that vintage synth characteristic to the sound And it's really nice. On the effect side, as you see, there are some. Uh, whereas the filter, you have the chorus delay. Um, chorus also are yeah, really nice in this uh, in this plugin. I like it. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm um, being mesmerized by by this sound. And uh, basically, I'm using this um, well, this synth in a synthy way, not really as an arpeggiator, but it is an arpeggiator preset. Um, so I'm using it here at the beginning of the track, and then yeah, you see sparsely throughout the track. And um, actually, the reason why I added this uh, was to to give again the variation, but in a more subtle way, so not that obvious. Uh, although in some parts it's it's pretty obvious, and you can see the volume automation, uh, like here, of course, at the um, at the break, and more towards the end. But then listen the way it builds up. This is uh, the beginning of the track. And it also acts like uh, an effect because um, if you saw the, the previous streams, I don't have that many effects. I went through some of the effects that I have inside the track. Um, here I have some uh, white noise and well, yeah, but they're not so prominent. Um, and then I have a symbol there. And of course I have the build up with the snares. This is before the uh, main drop. But then uh, this uh, synth, it in a way it also acts like a effect. So yeah, I, I like that. And now let's hear the synth here at the break. <laughs> Let me start a little, a little earlier. Actually, it just fits in really nicely, so like it, like it a lot. Um, and then here at the end, of course, I have again here like a little build-up um, before the the drop. 
Um, and yeah, it's pretty much done in a similar fashion that is done at the beginning um, of the track. And then it builds down. Uh, so it goes out of the attention. Um, and it's interesting with the volume automation. Um, when I, I learned this from um, um, from some classes that I took for, for mixing uh, a while ago, and actually it goes like this. When you have a sound, it can be anything, um, but it doesn't have to be that much in your face. I mean, if you have a bass line, it's not going to work with it. Um, but when you have more subtle sounds, um, it's the way the brain works. So when you have that one element, it can be a hi-hat or a synth, you know, and then it comes in, for instance, in this case, at the uh, drop, and then the volume is... I mean, let's say it has a normal volume, so it's there in the spectrum in your attention. Um, but then when you gradually bring it down, the brain doesn't really um, register. Well, it's, it's more about the hearing, of course, but then it's the messaging between the hearing uh, and, and the ear and the brain. The, the brain doesn't really register when the sound is going down and it still um, keeps it as part of the track you know what i mean um so in a way you you can create like a, a kind of an illusion um while bringing down a bit the element you know and up to the point that it disappears and then you don't even realize that it disappeared of course that's that's the whole purpose in the end with the slopes of uh, the, the the volume with automation of the volume um but it's interesting uh like in mixing concepts to uh have this information actually because you can bring something in powerful but then gradually uh take the volume down it's still there you still keep it there but the brain still registers it as is there although it's not so audible in the end so it's uh very interesting Think it's coming from one of the scenes i heard it before um yeah but because this is one of the early uh, projects um i removed it in the later ones i think it's coming from here yeah anyway this is another um instrument also coming from the mini v as you can see but I'm going to go into detail uh, with this next week. Um, so um, I'll see you next week. <laughs>